This is a picture of how your radiator come, will come in this wooden box. When you take off the top with the Phillip head screws, the box inside of the box will have your components. And this is also a nice box that you might want to have around your house for other things to store in. It's a pretty nice box. When you get your package, begin by undoing the Phillips head screws. This will be the hardest part of the um, entire process of putting your radiator cover together. But this keeps your crate secure through shipping. And I believe there's about two dozen screws to take out. When you get done removing your screws, remove the top and put it off to the side. There's cardboard covering up all the components. Remove that also. And all the parts are wrapped in paper and plastic wrap. Please take a pair of scissors and just cut through the plastic wrap um, without trying to cut through the paper so you'll damage the finish on the cover. Please take out all your parts, being careful not to scratch the components. Um, you'll see two sides. Um, the front frame, the grills, and the top. And there's a package of screws here and anti-tip brackets. Lay all the parts down face down on a nice blanket so you, nothing gets scratched. Okay, now that you have your parts down on a blanket, you will notice that these biscuits, these are wooden wafers, glued into the top of the frame. There's also slots cut onto the top of the cover that match up with those biscuits. You want to take your frame and put it down into those grooves. You also notice some black lines. Line those black lines up with each other. Now you're going to get a side. And you will notice the front of the side has a tongue, what we call a tongue. That corresponds to a groove in the front of the frame. You're going to put it in the groove. Make sure it's all the way in, down here also. And then press it into the biscuit slot. Press it down in the front too so it's nice and tight. Now you're going to take a black screw and up in this pocket, these are called pocket hole screws, put the pocket screw hole in, pocket screw. Tighten up and hold the frame so it doesn't come apart. Now you're going to do each four of those on the side. Each one is going to take you about 30 seconds to run the screws in. We recommend doing this with a, this is a Phillips head screwdriver. We don't recommend doing it with a power screwdriver because you don't want to go in too deep. You put them in there until they're snug. Okay, you're going to do the same with the other side. Put it into the groove. Slide it down, and then run your screws in the same way she did the other side. When you're finished putting them down the sides, then you'll put these screws on fastening the top in all the pocket hole slots.
Okay, when you're all done putting these screws in, the pocket screws, you'll now put in the anti-tip bracket. Make sure you use these little screws, they're half inch long, and because if you use the black screws, they would have gone through the top. So you locate the holes, and all this is for is so you put this behind the radiator, so if you were to pull it, it would hit the radiator and keep it from tipping over. There'll be two of these, one on each side. Okay, also there's floor levelers on the covers. What you want to do is these are located below the side of the cover. So you might not need them. They're there if you need them. If the floor is unlevel, to raise the cover up, you would screw the, the leveler counterclockwise. If that's your low spot. But you need to install the cover and see if it needs to go up. So now you can screw it back down. Screw all four of them back down so they're below the surface of the the bottom and then you're ready. Now you can flip your cover over. If it's up on a table you might want to have somebody help you. They are a little bit awkward and heavy. But your your new cover is ready to install. If you take your time, everything has been screwed together for you. This should take about 10 or 15 minutes, but just take your time. Don't force it. Everything will line up. And lots of luck with your new cover. Hope you hope you love them.